Hey everyone, after almost two months with no updates, I am finally back with another Armor of Forger experimental build. Today I will be covering the brand new 0.9.7.85 that released yesterday. This is the first build in quite a while, and it added a whole host of new bug fixes, but its primary focus was an overhaul to the building style of conflict, trading the old building slot system for the new free roam building system. So really, with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So the main addition of this update is the new free roam building feature. This feature changes the existing conflict construction system from the slot system we currently have in the live build to a system that works more akin to how Game Master works, really giving you this camera that you can control. This new change grants players complete control of the placement and rotation of defenses and constructions, as well as their typing in bases. Really just makes it so you're kind of like a mini game master when you're building. To build these constructions, players will still need resources. The resource count required for each construction is listed below the construction, letting players know the cost of such a move. Be careful while constructing, as after you've placed an item, the only way to change it is to delete it and doing so will only return a fraction of the resources you used to originally place it. And I highly doubt your teammates will be understanding if your materials hit zero because you misclicked. Also in this vein, if you're playing in multiplayer, be aware of how many resources you're using, and be careful not to use too many, else you may accidentally sabotage your team. Small thing to note, you can in fact enter this build mode while in combat. I'm not sure if this is intended, but I tested it, and I was able to build a nest while being shot at. Perhaps this will change in the future, but for the moment, be aware of this fact. I also want to add very quickly here that I feel like this new change to building is going to make building more important, which as of such may play into the changes to supply lines that already came earlier, and perhaps may make them actually feel viable. So, here's some quick gameplay of what you can build using this new camera. Aside from that, there isn't really much else, bar scattered bug fixes. This build has a large host of bugs in it that hopefully are going to be fixed by the time the live build comes out, um, and maybe will be fixed sooner rather than later. I'm excited to see what else the Arma team has moving into the future, but until they reveal it, this has been Christopher Beast, and I'll see you all next time.